بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمن وی آر بیسکلی کنٹینیوئنگ ود آر ماڈیول آن گڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ دا لاسٹ ٹائم وی ور لوکنگ ایٹ دی آبلیگیشنز ٹو دی شیئر ہولڈر دا پرائمری اسٹیک ہولڈر اینڈ ناؤ وی گوئنگ ٹو گو آن ٹو دا نیکسٹ امپارٹنٹ اسٹیک ہولڈر اینڈ دیٹ از دی آبلیگیشنز ٹو دی امپلائیز دا ویری بیک بون آف اینی آرگنائزیشن ناؤ لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمن وین وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ امپلائیز دین وی ہیو ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ that the whole organization is basically hinged upon its employees, their well-being and also the fact to create an enabling and conducive environment so that the employees can have high performance, high productivity, high morale and high results and perform according to expectations. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, one of the most important aspects in the obligations is fair employment practices by providing equal access and fair treatment to all employees on the basis of merit. Now, this is extremely important, ladies and gentlemen, because if we do not do employment based upon merit and transparency and established frameworks, then what is going to happen is that it will create uh, an environment of nepotism, of favoritism, uh, of despondency, of corruption. Why? Because we are selecting employees not based upon merit or some framework or some established job specifications or based upon the knowledge, skills, abilities and competencies of the individual but based upon a relationship. This is a lose-lose situation actually in the short term and the long run. Therefore, for the longevity of any organization and to ensure that an organization remains as a high-performing organization, this is a very, very important perspective and aspect of engaging employees through fair employment practices which cannot be compromised at any time and then it has to be based upon free equal access also that it cannot be like this that some organization uh, is hiring people without informing anyone so people are not even informed and therefore the only person who is informed is the one who gets recruited so it actually is the responsibility of the human resource department of any good organization that they have to disseminate the position not only once but multiple times and ensure that it has a widespread audience. So the maximum number of appropriate people are applying for that position. And then if they get employed or when they get employed, then it's equally important that they have fair treatment to all employees. It cannot be that someone is given preference while the other person is uh, given excessive workload, is not given holidays, is not given benefits, while someone who is well connected is given all of the benefits and is also treated as a special child of the organization that would be against not only good governance that would be against morality in its very essence and its very core also so uh, this thing is extremely important that while an organization is engaging with the employees and the employees are engaging with the organization that there should be freedom of association there should be privacy of the employee you just cannot and and we also uh, had uh, also done a case study in which uh, excessive surveillance can be detrimental not only to the employee but also to the organization. So we have to uh, basically safeguard their privacy also. There has to be the recognition of the right to engage in collective bargaining. That, they, that means that there can be labor unions so that their rights are not infringed or encroached upon by the organization. There has to be a prohibition of forced compulsory and child labor. Now, what that basically means is that you cannot force an employee to work during a stipulated holiday it has to be by preference and it has to be based upon their own uh, their own uh, perspective of wanting to work on a holiday and then there should be no child labor at all because that is condemned around the world and also those laws that pertain to the elimination of any employment discrimination so uh, whatever is done it has to be done according to rules regulations laws and frameworks and in a country like pakistan we have 149 labor laws and, and the code of labor law is this thick. I mean, it's a 3,700 page plus document. Now, even to understand that itself is a huge challenge. But that's the way how the rights of employees have been given protection by uh, the, the law of the land and also internationally by the International Labor Organization, which tends to oversee how different countries are promulgating and implementing the different labor laws. So it's the obligation of a company that they also have to ensure uh, adherence to those laws and also protect their employees so that they cannot be manipulated, exploited, or discriminated upon. 
that is extremely important um equal opportunities johanna for the employer equal opportunities for employment irrespective of race caste religion color ancestry marital status sex age nationality disability and veteran status so right now in in pakistan we have a reserved quota for the physically challenged and that is extremely important that you cannot exclude uh, different people uh, you have to have a diverse organization you have to ensure uh, that uh, there is also uh, a gender inclusion so again uh, by law uh, the the female gender uh, has reserved seats in organization so that is also very important that the law is being uh, followed and now there is uh, there is there is a draft law that even transgender should be employed by organizations because all three genders are equal and therefore we cannot exclude people from employment so this is very important that there should be uh, equal opportunities and the employer must ensure that the race caste religion color ancestry marital status sex age nationality any ability or disability and veteran status is not a bar or is not a consideration for employment so that is also very important uh, in uh, in the rights and obligations of the employee now again employee should be treated with dignity with respect and in accordance with the policies which are stipulated all matters uh, should be uh, given equal opportunity and also decisions should be merit based so again the human resource department uh, of any organization has these huge responsibilities to ensure that they do not tend to intimidate manipulate uh, discriminate or uh, do something which is illegal or unlawful and that is the very essence of human resource in a good organization now uh, ladies and gentlemen it's also very important that we encourage whistle blowing uh, proactive dealing with the whistle blowers and to make sure employees have comfortable reporting channels awareness of and to appropriately deal with a concern before an illegal act has been committed and more so the fact that if reporting is delayed the company's reputation can be seriously harmed and it can face a risk of prosecution with all its disastrous consequences so uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, what we are seeing is that uh, whistle blowing and that basically means that if i am an employee of some organization then i must blow the whistle that means i must raise my voice i must communicate to the concerned authorities within the organization or outside the organization if something illegal or wrong is happening in the organization now one small instance sometimes can be overlooked but if it is becoming repetitive and again it has uh, it has many uh, di- disastrous or larger consequences then it is the responsibility of the person concerned to blow the whistle and to ensure that the organization is protected now that is extremely important now sometimes what happens is is just like a case study that we had conducted earlier is that when the person blew the whistle then he basically had to face the consequences so there is always that but the law basically protects that now even in pakistan in the national accountability bureau ordinance whistle blowing is actually mandatory upon employees and then protection of the whistle blower is also mandatory by the government now what actually happens well that would uh, depend upon the situation and from circumstance to circumstance but yes whistle blowing is important and secondly whistle blowers must be protected so again when we are talking about all of this it becomes extremely important that we do not overlook or we do not tend to disengage when things are going wrong it is our responsibility as employees that we make sure that everything is done judiciously honesty and also with integrity within an organization and it is the organization's responsibility that if i blow the whistle then i must be given appropriate protection and i must not be penalized for it i must not be sidelined for it and i must not be punished for it and therefore this is a very very important aspect of employee obligations from the company and also the employee responsibility to the company thank you so much